Despite torrential rain in the lead-up week, the ground was only damp and at worst soft in places. 100 millimetres or nearly four inches had been registered on Thursday, Friday and Saturday. David Bishop having trouble uh, communicating with his front row. Quick ball now for Dacey. Roger Gould. Campisi. Greg. Little bit of hesitation there from the Australians, but the referee pulling play up very quickly. Notice there that Dacey missed touch. He's uh, of the two, the two uh, five eights here in Wales who are very fancy for this game. Dacey was a running five eight. Davies missed out as a kicking five eight, and I think they must have wished that it wasn't raining the last couple of days when they picked Dacey. Here comes Roger Gould with a blaze of fire. Peter Grigg taken high. There's the second penalty of the match, the first for Australia. Nearly lost his head that time, Greg. The man for the big occasion. It's a great looking kick. What a start for the Australians. Four and a half minutes gone. The Australians will be attempting to uh, apply a lot of pressure to the two halves. Bishop, the halfback's a new cap, place of home. Dacey uh, has only played three or four games this year, and I think that's where they could break down. Cutler soars high. Ella. Michael Liner to Poitavan. Australia set up. Good ball here. Far Jones. Straight through. Gould. Greek. Lawton. Tommy Lawton has scored for Australia. Coming back. That shaves the upright. One thing here, too, uh, in the British Isles, the referees uh, don't play advantage. See the ball coming out Australia's way there, but he pulled it up immediately. Far Jones, overlap. Campisi. One man in front, quiet. Campisi. Point of it. Liner. Try. This to make it 13-0. Steve Williams. Australia set up. Rodriguez goes in. Here it comes. Ella. Liner. Gould. Campisi's outside. Mark Ella. Put into touch. Well, it's the blind side. Cody went high. Tapped forward by Wales. Scrum ball, Australia. Well, the Australians will never have another opportunity like this one. 13 points up. Bill just took his eye off the ball there. Now the crowd yelling for a big heave from the Welsh forwards. I think you'll see the Welsh come down the blind side here. Wide blinds, very strong attacking position. Mark Wyatt from Swansea, a very sure goal kicker. A straightforward kick. Yeah. Difference back to 10 points. You might see a switch between Mark and Michael Liner behind the scrum. Passing behind the man, though. Gould's put it high, and they're all on side. There's no one back there for Wales. This is dangerous. Point of him. Can Australia get this ball? Wales very lucky to get out of that. Can Wales hold on? Now they go for the pushover. Try! The Welsh gun has been pushed over the goal line. And the try has gone to Steve Tyneman. Australia is in the lead by 17 to 3. Tommy Lawton throws his fist to the crowd. A 14-point lead. Gould from almost in front here. Campisi way to the crowd. But I'd have my mind on the football. There's still a long way to go. Exactly, Gordon. Australia missed a kick, uh, a similar one here last time. But Gould hasn't missed this one. 28 metres out from the Welsh goal line. 
Far Jones to Willa. Slack. Andy Slack. Snipes to Willa. Liner. Australia set it up again. Here it comes. Far Jones. For Campisi. Look at him go. Campisi. Couldn't get there. It's eight metres out from the Australian goal line. About three minutes of playing time plus injuries to go. Australia 22, Wales 3. Australia looking for a first ever Grand Slam now. Bishop on the blind side. Titley. It's lost forward. It's a try. I think Bishop has scored. He appeared to lose the ball forward. He regathered. The crowd rises, but it's all too late for Wales. Wyatt to Ackerman. Wyatt held on. Perkins comes away, the war horse. Pickering caught by Ella. Wyatt again. Solid tackle by Poitavan. Now it's Titley away to Lewis. He's hardly seen the ball, this man. This is Perkins. Ella! Mark Ella! What a try! And what an end to the test match! He scored a try in every test on tour! And what an ending for Australia! Fantastic. What a way to do it! Well, the crowd has risen. Michael Hawker is standing up. Mark Ella. He deserves a knighthood, this man.